Two. The Spurs cranked out a 13-0 run to take the lead for good, and from there they beat down the Trailblazers 133-96 Wednesday night. Five Spurs scored on double figures, led by DeJounte Murray in his game best 28 points. San Antonio led 81-53 at halftime. It was the most points in any half for the team this season. And they had 13 three-pointers in the first half, which is a new franchise record. But Portland was down seven players, including their two leading scorers, Damian Lillard and Josh Hart, which Pop was quick to point out during postgame. You know, this obviously wasn't a fair fight. Uh, we got a lot of guys out. Uh, but the good part for us was that uh, we still played good basketball. We didn't uh, think that we could just walk out there and win. We played to win and, and got it done. But uh, we realized that, uh, you know, they're obviously far from full strength. For the game, San Antonio made 19 three-pointers, matching their season high. Six different Spurs made a shot from beyond the arc, led by Keldon Johnson, who made five of them. We got players who can, who can you know, shoot the three. Um, I've seen I see them work out and practice every day and shoot around. And I mean, we have a lot of people that can shoot, so when we're open, you know, that's a great shot to take. Five. Former Spur Drew Eubanks led the Blazers with 20 points and nine rebounds, and you can tell the Spurs certainly enjoyed seeing him. So the Spurs will next play tomorrow, 4 p.m. at New Orleans. UTSA Roadrunners are getting ready for their first scrimmage of spring workouts tomorrow. One of the players that Coach Trailer is relying on this season is a Cyrus Simon. The junior defensive lineman played in just two games his first season due to an irregular heartbeat. But last year, he was able to suit up in 14 games, including their second bowl appearance. So how does Coach Trailer manage Simon's medical condition? There's nothing to manage because football is secondary. You know, life is what matters most. It's like Brandon was crushed. He had to go to his Brandon Brown's grandfather passed away and he has to go be at the funeral. He's just devastated. He had to miss practice and it can't, it can't even be a consideration. It just can't be. That's someone's baby. That's someone's child, right? And uh, it is uh, some of the unintended consequences of what's happened with collegiate sports and professional sports. This when it all costs mentality, somehow the kid's been forgotten about. And, uh, you know, I've been blessed in my career that I've never lost sight of that. I'm good right now. I haven't uh, had any, any problems like that since last summer of fall camp. But, you know, coaches do a good job of realizing when I tell them something's going on with me, they sit me down and just say I'm done for the rest of the practice. So they do a good job of managing me and, and watching me. But like I said, I'm good, I'm great, I'm ready to go, and I'm ready for the season to take off. In men's soccer, the United States played at Mexico last night in CONCACAF World Cup qualifying, and the match ended with a scoreless draw. Goalkeeper Memo Ochoa came up huge for Mexico. They each won a point, and they both have two more games to try to get another six points to clinch their spots in Qatar. Tired to listen to never get tired of listening to Jeff Trailer and his and his philosophy, yeah. and not just football, but how how you treat certain situations. Yeah, and all his uh, little sayings and stuff. Yeah, so he's got some really funny, good ones too. There's no no wonder these guys like to come play for him. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, we like to go to SA Live and see what they got cooking with Mike and Fiona. Not cooking, but magic. It's a magical yes. Friday. Magic and movies on the show. And we're going to start with magic with world-class magician Giancarlo Bernini, who will be at the Magician's Agency this weekend. So thanks for having me. Um, I'd like to show you something really quickly, Fiona. Would you hold your hand flat for me? Mm -hmm. And take this card right here. It's a three hearts, okay? Okay. And place your other hand just right on top of that. Sandwich it. That way I can't okay. do any sleight of hand with that card, okay? Okay. Now, this card right here, it's a joker. It's the trickiest card in the deck because it can stand in for any card you want. Take this joke and just wave it right over your hand, right under your hand. I don't know if you felt that happen. Oh. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh, what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I'm standing this close to it. All right, we are talking movies. And of course, with movies, you got to have popcorn. Mm -hmm. And the Alamo City Popcorn Company has some really, really good, about 40 different flavors of popcorn. We're going to tell you how you can win that giant bag of all sorts of goodies go right that there. It's gonna go that way. All right, and of course, you know, the Academy Awards are this weekend, and we have someone who knows who's gonna be taking home the gold statue, right? Author, four books about the Oscars. Catherine Lester, who, you know winners? I absolutely know who is gonna walk away with an Oscar statuette this weekend. Ooh, She's gonna of, dish. Mm -hmm. Speaking of authors, we're gonna be talking with Matthew McConaughey's wife. She's got a new uh, children's book out. All right, all that and more when SA Live continues.
We're up to 81 now. 88 is our forecast high today. We go even warmer tomorrow. Close to 90 on your Saturday. It will be chilly in the morning, but definitely not in the afternoon. Winds do pick up a little bit, especially as we get into Sunday and early next week. Chance of storms. That'll be late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. Just a small window for that. And then looking at some pretty good weather as we officially start Fiesta next week, guys. Thank you, Justin. The real magic trick would be for us to walk back to our desks and all that popcorn would be sitting there. Now, yeah. That would be a magic trick. I don't know if that's a, a sleight of hand sort of trick, though. <laughs> I don't think they can pull that off. It's not like a playing card. Let's see if it works. Let's say live starts right now. Big movies need a big screen. Yeah, you can get this thing set up in your backyard. Plus, we're going to tell you where you can watch some movies free on that screen tonight. Plus, the Academy Awards are this Sunday, and we're talking to an Oscar expert who can help you right in the middle of awards season action. And you can't have a movie night without popcorn. We're taking this snack to the next level. It's all on a special movie edition of SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> and Ted for bringing that statue with us here. <laughs> Hello and happy Friday, everyone. We are getting you ready for a fantastic weekend. This is the closest we are ever going to get to an Oscar statue. That's right. Um, nope. <laughs> it fell apart. Is it broken? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know, we spare no expense for the props on this show. Yeah, but we know? are getting ready for a weekend of movies, magic, and of course, Oscar gold. <laughs> <clears throat> or plastic. And, okay, I'm Fiona Garcia, and of course, the 94th yeah, Academy plastic. Awards are this Sunday right here on KSAT 12. And so many of us are big movie fans, but is there one movie that, you know, everyone loves that maybe you just aren't a fan of? Bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. thought, said it was the funniest movie in the world. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, it just, it, it just wasn't that funny to me. Yeah. Yeah, so, what okay. about you? Hail Caesar, the one oh. with like, like, critics loved it, but I just, I don't know. I, I didn't really, I didn't think I of me. You know, rented it for five bucks and turned it off after about 45 minutes. So what do you think? Let us know if there's that movie that everybody talks about and you're just like, eh, not worth it. So at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter, you may see your answer a little later in the show. All right. Well, movies inspire a lot of us and even one world-class magician. He has a number of tricks inspired by famous films and TV shows, and you can see a lot of them on his social media. He's in town this weekend for one night only. Giancarlo Bernini is here to show us a little bit of what he has planned for his show at the Magician's Agency Theater. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you for having me. Uh, and like you mentioned, we are talking about movies. Mm -hmm. And one of the most interesting things is objects in movies. Because you always want to, you know, you want to be Luke Skywalker in the movie. But if you can't be Luke Skywalker, you at least want to hold a lightsaber. Totally. Well, yeah. um, Absolutely. I'm sure you can think of objects from movies that uh, are interesting. What's your favorite movie? Or what's a, an oh, object gosh. from a movie? <laughs> well, we were, <laughs> well, we were talking about uh, in Raiders of the Lost Ark at the very beginning when he was going for that, that little uh, statuette and had to oh, yeah, do yeah, the yeah, sandbag yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Absolutely. And one of those things is I've been trying to take objects like that, like that statuette or whatever, you know, Adam's Lamp, things like that, and try to make magic with them uh, on my Instagram and I got inspired by the idea of seeing a card trick done on film so I was watching a movie they were doing card trick I'm like I feel like I could do that so let's try something real quick okay, okay. Had a uh, deck of cards here all I'm gonna do is Mike I'm just gonna go through the cards and I'm just gonna ask you to just uh, just stop me anywhere you want as I go through okay stop perfect go ahead and take that card okay. you can go ahead and show it to the camera if you like all right Perfect. You got that camera right there in your mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I did mention that I was doing these videos on my Instagram. Right. Mike, do you have Instagram? Yes, I do. Oh, no. As a matter of fact. Oh, for, no. Like, for those of you who have watched the show, no, this Instagram. might be a challenge. I will call it. I've got this all right. Oh, wow. And, and even if you, if you go, you at home, you can go to Instagram. John Bernini Carl, Magic. Whoop, whoop, you pull wait, it wait, up. wait, wait. Oh, I, was, wow. I was trying okay. to refresh it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. go. Refresh it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you don't even have to refresh it because you'll notice that uh, there's a... Uh, uh, a, a card there. Now, listen. I didn't see the card that you picked, and that w w that was the that was not the card you picked. That was not the card. I picked? That was not the card you picked. See, this is a prediction, but it's a prediction for the future. Okay. See, Fiona. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you to say stop at any point here. Okay. Stop. Perfect. Mm -hmm. See, this was nope. what magicians call yeah an open prediction. Okay. You saw the card already. Okay. And this right here is uh, <laughs> the card you stopped me on, the seven of spades. Oh my god. 
gosh. But the, the, the camera already saw the card you picked earlier, Mike. Yes. Uh, Do you remember what that card was? Yes. Yeah, Don't so, say it out loud, okay. but, uh, but, but the camera did see it. Everybody has it here. Right. Now watch carefully. I don't know if you want to uh, come in really close on this. You see the seven right here? What was the card? Nine of spades. Nine of spades? Watch. Let me see the moment that seven turns right into that nine right there. That is impressive. Thank you. That Again, standing really cool. two feet away from that thing going on there. I know, like, you were staring. I couldn't see anything. But, uh, He's like, always trying to see. I know, I am. It's amazing. He's trying me. to figure it out. Well, like I said, I've been doing magic tricks with objects from movies, and one of the things that's interesting to me is just the idea of, of visualizing having those items um, to the point where it's almost magical. Yeah. And Fiona, okay. I want you to bring to the front of your mind okay. uh, an object from a movie. Um, I want okay. you to confirm for everybody there's yeah. absolutely no way I could know what you're thinking of right no. now. No. No way. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. All right. Who's that? Fiona, imagine holding this item in your hand, okay? Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Fiona, don't tell me what the item oh, is. I don't. If this thing shows just, up, I'm going to be really impressed. Just, <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> just tell me what the movie is. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, I love Harry Potter. Uh -huh. That's great. And uh, okay, so there's a couple things in Harry Potter. There's a golden snitch. There's a wand. What specific item were you imagining holding in your hands? Say it. Yeah. Goblet of Fire. The Goblet of Fire. Interesting. See, when I watch Harry Potter, uh -huh. I want you to just imagine looking through Harry's glasses uh -huh. at that Goblet of Fire. Okay. Now, I can't bring the Goblet of Fire here. This is a little too small. Okay. But I can give you the next best thing. If you want to reach inside. Reach inside? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You feel it? Here, yeah, just reach Oh my over. gosh, where am I reaching? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right the See, I'm like you with Instagram yeah, right now. I know. Oh my gosh, his glasses? What? Those are Harry Potter's glasses. There's no way I could have known you were going to be thinking of Harry Potter. Well, no. And. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's too That's cool. That's crazy. That's too cool. So, anyway, a oh little bit of movie magic for Very you. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> okay, that stuff freaks me out. Okay. That... <laughs> We're going to be talking about his appearance tomorrow night at the Magician's Agency, one night only, and another trick is going to be coming up. But again, it's tomorrow Sorry. night, March 26th, Giancarlo Bernini at the Magician's Agency. Buy tickets online, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay. Mm -hmm. That yep. was amazing. Right? Yep. All right. All right. Oscars this weekend. And one of the most familiar faces in Hollywood, of course, is Matthew McConaughey, winner of an Academy Award for his role in Dallas Buyers Club. And our Jen Tobias Trusky spoke with him last year about his book, Green Lights. Today, she's chatting with his wife, Camilla Alves McConaughey, who just released a new children's book, and it's all about encouraging kids to eat healthier. Camilla Alves McConaughey joins me now. So excited to chat with you today. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well, how are you? I'm great. I know you had a very busy week, but I'm super excited because I did get the book and my kids read it. I have a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old and they loved it, loved it. We were laughing, it was awesome. Be honest, tell us the truth, did they really like it? Oh, they like, and you know what they like? That the roles are flipped. It really caught their attention. Now, is that the intention of flipping the roles with this book? Yes, you know, the intention with the book, you know, look, I'm not here to tell parents what to feed their kids, you know, how to go about it, follow this way or that way. But, but I am here to give parents a good reminder that the conversation around food and how it works in your body, you know, what's good, what's not, what's important, what's not. It's a very important conversation to have. And the earlier you start that conversation, the most likely you're gonna be setting up your child for a lifelong of good habits. Yes. So the idea of reversing the role, we really wanted to make it funny. We wanted the book to be funny, to be fun, um, to not put any guilt, you know? So what a great, uh, you know, great way to do that with a book that makes the kids laugh. Now, did you ever think you'd write a children's book? 
Listen, if, uh, no, no, never, never thought I'll write a children's book. Um, so it's, you know, it's been a labor of love. I wrote with Adam, who wrote Go to Act to Sleep. So if you're familiar with the book, you know, his sense of humor. No, I really, it, it wasn't on my dream sheet to do so, but it really did go, you know, it comes from my mission of just trying to inspire people to do a little bit better, you know, not to be perfect, um, but just to do a little bit better. I wanted to share because say, hey, it's not about being perfect. You know, I wanted to share this page because it does, you know, we are not, we preach, we can still have your donut house and your ice cream too and all of that. And uh, like right now, my daughter is the super picky one and she's going to that stage. And even the other day we were sitting at the dinner table talking. She's like, well, you know, I've always been like that. And my oldest jumped in and went, no, you haven't. Um, but I think as parents, we have to get creative on how to get them to eat their, you know, the stuff that's good for them in learning. Well, I know your mother-in-law, Kay, we see you guys often on Instagram. I know she lives with you. Has that brought you guys closer together when it comes to cooking as a family or how does that work? Look, Mama is very funny. As if you've seen her on my Instagram account, she's a hoot. I mean, she's so funny. But she's not much of a chef. She's not much of a cook. She really isn't. But she loves, loves to go in the kitchen and give her opinion. Camilla admits the challenge that she has as a mother is asking for help when it's needed. You know, I didn't really feel comfortable asking for help, you know, feeling, you know, I'm in the you know, I'm strong and bent or whatever, right? Like the things that we we know we are as, as mothers. And I got to a point that I was like, you know what? It's okay to ask for help when you need help. And it's in, and that's why we have, you know, people that you love and family and people or friends that can support and say, you know what? I'm struggling right now. I need a helping hand. Yes, asking for help is definitely a challenge. With the new book, Just Try One Bite, hopefully this can help start the conversation. And if you'd like to get a signed copy of the book. Yes, we can meet tomorrow in Austin. We have family activities, kids activities, music, food, um, just try one bite challenge. Uh, and I'm going to be there signing books. So come on over. All right, still ahead on SA Live. If you want to take part in the Just Try One Bite book signing, it is tomorrow at 2 p.m. at Rain Lily Farm in Austin. You can get tickets on Eventbrite. Head on over to SALive.com and click on the Ask Seen on SA Live tab for that information. Now, still ahead on SA Live, who doesn't like watching movies on a big screen? How you can get these colossal screen at your next party, event, or just a movie night at home. But first, you can't have a movie night without popcorn. A local shop has more than 40 flavors, from dill pickle to Lucky Charms. We're playing Can We Guess the Flavor and showing you how to take these treats to the next level. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this family-owned popcorn company has more than 40 flavors to choose from, from candy cane to beer cheese. That Cheers. And everything in between. Where is that? Beer I cheese? don't know. Yeah, I mean, beer cheese popcorn, beer, you know. Hey, Leslie Boulay, owner of Alamo City Popcorn Company, here to give us a sample of all the flavors, show us how to take these treats to the next level for the biggest night in movies, because popcorn and movies, mm -hmm. it's like peanut butter and jelly, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Now we are creating formal tuxedo popcorn. Yeah, so we have a tuxedo popcorn that we sell at the store that's a milk and white chocolate, and we thought we'd dress it up today with a dark chocolate. Okay. You can add any of the... So Fixins there you want. What are we yeah. starting off with here? The, That's dark chocolate. Add the caramel corn. Mm -hmm. Caramel so, corn. So I just pour this on here like this? Yes. Is this Perfect. right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just all of it? I mean, are we going to town here? That's it. Is it like a, a liberal drizzle? Light? I, I like a lot of chocolate. A lot. Go. So I can just go like <laughs> this. <laughs> just. Yes, yes, there we go. There we go. Now, now we're cooking now with we're gas. Cooking with gas. <laughs> yes. yes, indeed. So, how do you come up with all the different flavors? Gosh, you know, some of them we got from um, our, we have a, a popcorn mentor and he gave us some of the recipes and a lot of times we just listen to our customers, find out what they like and chocolate, play yeah. around and see, Beer. yeah. What's the next step? <laughs> so put any of the little extras oh, okay. on there you'd like. I'll do some salty because I do like that, okay. And so what are your you know, most popular flavors? Well, of course, we have extra buttery, which is like movie theater popcorn. That's one of our Ooh, most yes. popular. Mm -hmm. We've got vanilla, we've got sea salt caramel. 
Um, dill pickle is one of our most popular flavors. Ooh, that sounds good. And, um, and there we are have, other pickle popcorn flavors as well. Pickle yes, popcorn. we've got fried pickle and spicy dill. Woo! Fried pickle? Mm-hmm. Ooh, which is better, fried pickle or dill pickle? I like the fried pickle. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, All so right. it's got a little ranch seasoning in it, like yeah. you're dipping the fried pickle in the ranch dressing. Okay, this is not only interesting, it's fun too. So, <laughs> And then we just keep going here, and this yeah. is the tuxedo popcorn. I love okay. this. So. All right, and you have gift baskets you can uh, order online, be it a giant gift basket being just a little party favor type baskets or anything like Absolutely. that, Absolutely, right? we've okay. got gift baskets for every occasion, and then we also have little party favors. You can do these little cones. Uh, we can put your company logo, or we can put your happy birthday message on there. We can do those in any flavor. And you have a giveaway going on right I now, I do. Right? So we're giving away this giant uh, movie night basket. It's got candy and popcorn, and we're also giving away a $50 gift card with it. Just You just need to go to our Facebook page, like my post, and you're entered to win. All right. Okay, so while we fin finish up on the tuxedo popcorn, we've got a little tasting going on here yes. because some of the 40-odd flavors there, and you've got uh, mm -hmm. some interesting ones. So Yeah, so I brought some of the, some fun ones for you guys. Okay. okay. We'll let this go. Ready? Cool all right. down mm -hmm. there and all right. Okay, first so there's one. our there's first, first one. one. So we're just guess the flavor. All right. Okay, Three, guess three, the flavor. Two, two one. one. Oh, very cheesy. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Um, is cheese. it beer cheese? No. That's a beer cheese. Is it? it that's is. a beer it's cheese. It's beer cheese. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's really cheesy. Okay. Yes, mm. but it's got that. You can mm. taste it kind yes. of the aftertaste of the mm -hmm. beer flavor. So okay. okay. Right. Next. Next. Okay. And we're gonna go sweet on this one. All righty. Here we go. one. Okay, three, two, seven. seven. Yes. Good. Good job. Really good. Good job. That's good job. really good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm All right. This kind of looks like the beer cheese one. I know. Okay. You ready? Three, two, two one. Oh, pickle. Something pickle. Dill pickle. No. No. It's got a spice to it. Spice. It's, uh, spicy pickle. Jalape um, jalapeno. What is it? It's what a it? spicy buffalo. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay, well, that's spicy, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is, but yes. <laughs> Do I see dill on here? I have a feeling. Dill pickle. Dill pickle. That's the fried pickle. Oh, that's the fried yep. pickle. Mm -hmm. Because we have that other taste. Uh, that's what's wrong okay. top. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard if you're going quick <laughs> through them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this last is the one. last one. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Um. Oh. Um. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh wait. Oh, it's a. Oh, I know this. It's um. um Give me a hint. Hint. Bone um, you might have it with a steak. Baked potato. Oh, twice baked potato. Loaded baked potato. Okay. Uh, yes. That's yeah, it. Very good. Very good. All oh, right. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for more information yes. on Alamo City Popcorn Company. Good just stuff. head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just snap that QR code on your screen. And I promised her I'd say go raise your backs for her because she's been thank in you. Arkansas. Thank <laughs> you. We did Arkansas. So. All right. Still ahead on SA Live. She's been in the Academy Awards Theater, even got her hands on the Golden Statue. A local Oscars expert shares some of the secrets behind the awards and how you can have an extra special night watching the ceremony. And next, have a watch party like no one else. How you can get these extra large screens at your next event and how you can catch a great flick for free. Get straight ahead. Well, welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, the biggest night in the movies requires the biggest screen. And you know something? Movie theaters are no longer the only place that you can go for that big screen. Angela Martinez, owner of Slab Cinema, is here to show us a fun new way to watch movies and how you can bring that big screen to even your backyard. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Welcome. Hi. Well, thanks for bringing the screen. Oh, glad to be here. Love that thing. Okay, how big is that and how big did they get? Um, this one is an 11 by 20 screen, and it's our medium size. We have a that's bigger medium? one. Yeah, yeah. We have another one that's a 15 by 26. Wow! So if somebody has a really big ego, they can show home movies themselves on a giant screen and Absolutely. just impress all their friends. <laughs> okay. So you show movies around town as well, right? Yes, we uh, go to a lot of city parks. Tonight we'll be at Blossom Park. Uh, tomorrow night we'll be at Travis. We'll be at Travis next month. And the nice thing is a lot of these outdoor events are free, too. Yes, they're free, family-friendly. Just uh, pack a lawn chair and blanket, picnic. 
Okay. And how did you get started in this? Uh, we used to own a video store in Southtown and we would show movies out front and uh, the owner of Latuna asked us to come and show movies in his uh, parking lot on the concrete slab. And, the and is that where you got the name Slab Cinema yes, from the is. concrete slab? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, because I was wondering, it's like a movie screen slab, all that. So, And if you can set this up in your backyard, now there's only one downside. You got to wait till the sun goes down. Yes, yes. We project so uh, we cannot, uh, cannot fight the sun. <laughs> Can you show any movies? Um, in your backyard, you can. Okay, so if I want to watch and pipe it through on my computer, like I said, home movies or um, whatever the case may be, I can have my friends yes, over and show Yes, in your I backyard, as long as it's back there, you can do okay. anything you want. What's your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is Moonstruck. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. How many times have you seen it? About a hundred. Do you ever set that up and, and just kind of watch it and go, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we used to do a lot of that in our backyard. <laughs> all right. And once again, um, well, first of all, people can rent these for your own backyard like we were talking about. Yes. And it doesn't take long to set up, right? No, just about an hour for the whole setup. All right. And an indoor spot to watch movies too, right? Yes. We have a, a new art house cinema in Blue Star where we show uh, classics, independent, and foreign films. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Because there's nothing like watching a movie on a big screen like yes, that, Yes, right? yes, it's lovely. And if you can do it in your own backyard so you don't have to worry about anybody else in the movie theater on a big screen, that's perfect, right? Yeah, it sure beats watching them on TV. <laughs> yeah, especially the old ones, too. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, don't forget that you can catch Slab Cinema tonight at Blossom Park where they're going to be screening Encanto. That show starts at dusk. And for more information, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just snap that QR code right there on your screen. Angela, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, that was all Ted's handiwork just then. So, hey, next on I Say Live, do you dream of going to the Academy Awards? Now, not after seeing that movie back there, but it won't happen for a lot of us. However, this local Os Oscars expert knows how to get you really close and how fans can get in on the action. You don't want to miss this. I'll tell you what, I thought this was great stuff the first time I see it, but it is fantastic on the big screen. Say live. Well, if you didn't make it to the Academy Awards this year, I mean, don't worry. I mean, you know, we Darn. didn't, we didn't either, and neither did a lot of people. But we know someone on a mission to get movie fans as close to the action as possible. And the lady you're seeing right there, and with us today, Catherine Lester, author and Oscar fan experience expert, is here to get us ready for Oscar night and share some of the behind-the-scenes secrets. Welcome. Thank you. It's so much fun this time of year, Oscar season. All right, so how can the average person, you know, most of us are watching from the couch, right? But how do you kind of, you know, get as close to the, the action as possible? When you're watching the Academy Awards, mm -hmm. the golden ticket to an awesome experience is taking score. Okay. So okay. think of it as watching a game, but not taking the score. How fun would that be? Not very, right? Okay. So what I brought today are three different leaderboards, three different ways to take score that night. Even if you've only seen a couple of movies, it's still very exciting to see how many films have won the same number of their nominations. All right, so where are we starting? Let's start here. We've got small, medium, and large leaderboards. This is a super small leaderboard. It has the best picture nominees, so the movies that have been nominated for the best picture, and of the entire awards program, that's like the creme de la creme. That's the award that's announced last. So when you have friends and family over for the big night, simply ask them to show you on the board with a sticker which movie they're voting for. So if you look at the uh, board right now, you'll see only one star for Belfast, but a bunch of stars for Dune. Okay. Yeah. And that way you get a, even a little competition to see maybe if the person went, uh, you know, not with the group and who might win at the end of the night if you were solo. So, right. and then this one over here has everything, all the awards that are going to be presented. Yes, there are 23 categories. And so each category will have five different nominees except for the best picture, which is the center column at the very bottom. Okay. So as the night progresses, have someone in your group mark who the winner is in that particular category. So you can do that with a highlighter, you can have your kiddos get involved, have them put a star sticker. But what's lots of fun is when people do their predictions, of course, before the awards program happens, and then throughout the night they can tell you their tally. For example, 
so far I'm 50% accurate or I'm 30% accurate and then by the end of the night of course you have your true accuracy. All right. And last but not mm -hmm. least this is my favorite kind of leaderboard. Super simple pretty much everybody has a whiteboard at home these days right because we're all working from home. So what you do is you craft out some little stars what we have here are the nominee heavy hitters. Okay. What I mean by that are these are movies. 12, mm -hmm. 10, exactly. 9 nom nominations yeah. in all different categories. All due respect to those nominees that have two and three <laughs> nominations. We still love you, but we're talking about the heavy hitters here. So each, uh, at the beginning of the night, everybody or all the films, the heavy hitters will have a star at the bottom, right? And as the night progresses, as they win awards, then they'll move up the leaderboard. So here, for example, we have The Power of the Dog that has 12 nominations. Kind of see if they live right. up to the pre-Oscar right. hype. Right, because they might have all those, yeah. and they might only they, win three. Yeah. They right. walk okay. away okay. with two or three. Now, for most of us, you know, the couch is going to be, you know, the closest we get to the Academy Awards. Because, you know, we're still waiting for <laughs> Hollywood to come knocking, okay? Yeah. But um, you, you know how fans can get in to see the awards, right? I am on a mission to get fans and filmmakers to the Academy Awards, and the best way to do that is through contests. So the Academy Awards does host contests for fans. This year, soon after the nominations were made in February, there was a contest called Oscars Fan Favorite. So what fans were asked to do was to tweet their favorite movie from 2021 using the hashtag Oscars fan favorite. Okay. They did so because there was a grand prize involved. And now what fans can do is for next year, mm -hmm. go to the different Oscar sites and then register and they might even get a chance to be a presenter, right? Absolutely. So this particular contest, the Oscars fan favorite, that is the prize, one of the prizes. Okay. They have a contest going on right now called Oscars Pick'em. Basically, you make your predictions online. That prize includes tickets to next year's oh, cool. red carpet bleacher event, $2,500 in cash, and membership to the brand new Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Wow. Back okay. to this year's yeah. awards. You know some mm -hmm. of the winners. Oh, I know of four individuals who are in the film industry who are going to definitely, definitely walk away with an Academy Award statuette. Quickly, quickly, who are they? Are you ready? Yes. yes. Put on your seatbelt. <laughs> Running out of time, quick. Danny Glover. Okay. Samuel L. Jackson, Elaine May, Liv Ullman. Okay. All right. You can talk more about the Oscars tomorrow. Biggest Oscar question and her book signing tomorrow, March 26th, 1 p.m. at the Barnes & Noble at Lock and Tara. If you mentioned you saw her on SA Live, you get a free Oscar gift. And for more information, I'm Catherine Lester. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much. All right, next on the show, our world-class magician is back. He's got a few more tricks up his sleeve, and we're going to tell you what you can expect from his show this weekend. And don't forget the 94th Academy Awards are this Sunday, starting at 7 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. Regina Hall, Amy Schumer, and Wanda Sykes are going to be hosting. You don't want to miss it. More SA Live's on the way. Say live. Well, we're back, of course, with magician Gian Carlo Bernini, and he's got some extra fun for us. So we're gonna get right into it. Absolutely. Okay. So back with our deck of cards, uh, yep. Mike. Would you do me a favor? Just pick any card you like. Okay. How about that one right there? Right. Should I show it to the camera? You show it to the camera. You can look at it. Oh, make sure yeah, I don't yeah. see it. He's I'm gonna look looking. right he's back at the wall. He's All not right. Looking. Perfect. Okay. And then uh, you can just hold that close to your chest. That way I can't see All it. Right. And just think about your card, okay? Okay. So just think about the color first, whether it's a red card or a black card. Mm -hmm. Think about the suit, hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades. Uh, and can you just count to seven out loud for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So just based on that last count right there, I'm gonna say probably it was probably a higher card, probably higher than a seven actually, uh, because you were you had a pretty good pace that whole way through. I'm gonna say probably gonna be a, a, a court card, probably a jack when you're a king. In fact, just based on the way you just looked at me right there, I'm gonna, <laughs> as soon as I said king, I'm gonna go with the king. Uh, can you say black again? Say the word black out loud. Black. Say red. Red. Definitely. Uh, can you say club? Club. Say spade. Spade. Say spade. <laughs> I don't even know how to spade. spade. Are you thinking of the King of Spades? Is that your card? Oh, you'd be a terrible poker player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea yeah, how we did that. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so of course you're going to be at the Magicians Agency this weekend. Tell us that's about right. the show. Yeah, so really excited. Tomorrow night, uh, 7 p.m., we're going to do a show that's very imaginative. It kind of brings together just things from your imagination and things that are happening in real life and having them clash in this crazy explosive world of just mystery and wonder. Uh, it's going to be incredible. So if you've got friends, family in town, uh, bring them over. It's going to be fantastic. What do you like doing better, big uh, on stage or this up close, sleight of hand type stuff? So I really enjoy both. For me, it's about doing something meaningful to the person. So uh, when you come see the show, um, it, it's about people's stories and who they are and what they want to do and where they want to, you know, we were talking about movies earlier and what movies you enjoy and kind of tying it in and making it personal. So it doesn't matter if it's a big prop or something small. If it's something that is meaningful to you, then I want to put it in the show. All right. Stuff. I know. He's still, and he was trying. You were trying so hard. I know. Okay. All right. You can see Magician Giancarlo Bernini for one night only at the Magician's Agency Theater this Saturday, March 26th at 7 p.m. For more information, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right. Next, you don't have to hide your smile anymore. How a local doctor can transform your teeth, your life, and really give you something to smile about. Is your smile affecting your personal life, your confidence? Well, you can turn all that around in one day at Stone Ridge Dental with their all on four procedure. And joining us today are Dr. Alfonso Monares and his wife, Yesenia, okay? The artist behind the smiles. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having us. Of course. Now, Dr. Monares, why is all on four such a special procedure? You know, Fiona, it's been a wonderful thing for patients and, and it's changed the way we do dentistry because for centuries we didn't have a very good solution for patients that unfortunately had to lose all their teeth. Um, the all on four allows for patients that, you know, face this reality of life to have a beautiful set of teeth in a very short amount of time that's affordable, that's fixed, and restores their health, their confidence, their smile, and most important, you know, it will never be affected by the factors that cause the teeth to deteriorate and be lost. So it's, it has given patients a ton of hope that before uh, had to live without teeth or with dentures that nobody likes, or had to go through years of treatment and multiple procedures to to basically be able to eat and, and have something that still could be removable. So it's been a life changer for a lot of patients and, and it's changed the way we do dentistry and we love it. And that's that's it right there. It is such a life changer and affects so much of you know just their day to day. Uh, what do you think encourages patients to, to contact you? You know, basically most of our patients are looking for hope. You know, they're patients that, that have suffered a lot, have gone through a lot of dental offices and, and they're kind of like the, the terminal dentition patient, uh, there's nothing else that can be done for them and they they just basically are looking for a solution. It takes a lot of time to build the courage to grab the phone and make the appointment and show up. But once they do that, uh, we, we want to tell them that most people are candidates, more people can have this done and there's something that they can do to, to smile again. And Yesenia, how do you go about creating the perfect smile for each patient? So creating the perfect smile, it's a unique art that it's designed elements beyond the teeth. It's about matching the smile to the entire face and to the whole person to complete a look, a style, and um, a personality as well. Um, and this is why we custom design every smile for our patients so they can have the perfect smile and be confident, happy, and help them look years younger mm -hmm. and body, mind, and spirit. All right, and real quickly, Dr. Mernares, tell us about your patient, Paula. Paula is a beautiful lady that, you know, smart, uh, successful, but, you know, she had the teeth that didn't last forever. Unfortunately, they were very brittle, they disintegrated, and it was really affecting her life professionally and personally. She came to the office looking for hope, and we offer her the Olin 4 procedure, and this is how she is now. All right, and how does Paula feel now? We're gonna hear from her. I would tell them that it's just a life changer just because you don't have to worry about your teeth and your health and whether or not you're going to have pain, whether you're eating or not. I would just tell them that um, it's do it, do it. Make this life change. It's well worth it. You're going to get the care that you need. 
The first 10 people to call will get the Love Your Smile offer from Dr. Monares at Stone Ridge Dental. It's a complete free smile consultation worth $350. The number to call is 210-864-9622. And for more information, visit ImplantSanAntonio.com. Well, of course, spring is here. It's starting to heat up, and that means it's time to check out your AC before summer sets in. And KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company shows us everything that goes into an AC tune-up. Hi, I'm Jeremy with John Wayne Service Company, and today we're going to be performing an AC tune-up for one of our customers. Let's go check it out. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and change the filter for our customer. Uh, this one's been in here approximately a year and it's definitely time for replacement. So next we're going to change out the bulb on the whole home air purification system and then we're going to open the system up and uh, replace the surface sanitization bulb as well. Okay, so now we're done with the bulb, so we're going to move on to the condensation drain. The normal operation of an air conditioner unit does remove humidity out of the home, so that is a normal operation. We just want to make sure the drain is clear. So the inside portion is complete for today. We're going to go ahead and move to the outside and complete the maintenance. Now we're back outside and we're going to go ahead and do the maintenance on the outside unit. We're going to remove the top, make sure all the leaves are clean from the inside out. Um, we're going to wash the condenser coils from the inside out as well. We're going to open up the hood out here and check all the electrical components and make sure that they're functioning proper, properly as well. Well, that's it for today. Once again, I'm Jeremy with John Wayne Service Company, and if you're in need of an AC tune-up, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. All right, earlier we asked you, you know, what movie did everybody like oh. that you were just like, eh? Lisa Ann says, House of Gucci. Hey, later on today, come down to uh, Pika Pika Plaza and say hi to Justin Horn and I. We're going to be giving away the official Weather Authority Fiesta Medal, which is muy caliente. Okay. Kind of like our show. It's a rockin' Saturday night for life. <laughs> or Friday night. Woohoo! <laughs>